In today's exploration, I'm taking you to an abandoned mansion in a small town in Alabama. This home was built in 1910 and has only had one family own it since the time it was built. A family of six inhabited the mansion for years as the three boys and one girl grew up and moved away to have children of their own, the husband and wife continued to live here. Sadly, the husband grew very old and was battling illness, and unfortunately, he passed away, leaving the wife alone in the mansion. And just a few years later, her time on earth would come to an end at the age of 93. Ever since her passing, the home has sat abandoned with power and all of her and her husband's belongings left inside. Stay tuned and let's take a look inside. What is up guys, it is Big Banks and we are back again for another video. And today we are exploring an abandoned mansion. And this one is full of everything. Everything is left in here is a time capsule. And not only that, this place has power. So we're gonna kind of leave that off for now and uh, we'll kind of go through the house, see what else, see what all is left here. Um, I'm just in the dining room right now and this is one of those southern mansions like the ceilings are high, it's got the pocket doors, it's got, you know, all this beautiful architecture. And we're gonna go through this place and uh, show you what's left behind. But this place is a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. And uh, shout out to my buddy Hammer Worldwide for this spot. Let's get right on this video. Hope you guys enjoy. Hit that subscribe button. And with my friend Abandoned Dallas, he's in there. Let's, uh, let's see what's left behind in this place, but it is already quite amazing. So let's get right into it. All right guys, so like I said, we're in the dining room and the table and the chairs are still here. It's got very high ceilings, probably like 12 foot ceilings it seems like. We have the china cabinet, everything still left inside. And this is like beautiful stuff. Definitely not cheap. But I mean, man, look at this. Wow. A little chandelier hanging there. Quite a large table. And then not only that, we have a organ sitting here. It's called Phantom Fingers. Wow. By Real Rhythm. This is pretty cool. But not only that, this is an abandoned mansion, but there's like a mansion right next to us that's abandoned on both sides of us. There's probably like four or five on the street, honestly. But yeah, <laughs> let's just keep going through this. I just wanted to mention that to you guys. It's just one bulb. It's uh, crazy, cool, and uh, crazy, crazy, cool, and crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Shut that back up. Yeah, we just wanted to show you guys that this place does have some sort of power. The refrigerator is running. We can hear it in there. I'm kind of honestly scared. There's just gonna be rats and shit everywhere. And look at this, though. Although maybe this is family members. Actually, this looks like it's inside the house. Maybe. It's a possibility. Some of this furniture is, or some of this, like, some of these decorations are crazy. I mean, look at this lamp right here. this stuff be left behind. This is pretty insane. Even on an Easter egg that looks like it hasn't even been opened yet. Oh, it's Spider-Man. Maybe like little temporary tattoos or stickers or something. That's pretty cool. Man, this place is just loaded with stuff. We don't find a lot of time capsules like these. These are really special to us, for sure. Even the blue curtains. And it leads to a bathroom right there. Also, we have a fireplace. This is a southern home, so it's probably gonna have a fireplace in almost every room to heat this place, because this place is massive. But we're still in the dining room, and we 
have a nice little painting of what looks like almost like Amsterdam on here. It's a nice, nice wooden door. Yeah, this bathroom, the ceiling is caved in over here. I'm a little worried, but little you, know, you know I always gotta check out the bathrooms. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the bathroom guy. It looks like it has a green tint. Uh, it looks like, yeah, the paint is uh, mint. Like a mint green? Mint, yeah, mint green paint. Oh yeah, it's rough in here. Ah, uh, that's pretty bad. But they do have a razor slot. Right here, before we go into the kitchen, we have a door. Little closet, let's see what's inside. Oh my lord, what the heck? Paintbrushes, dolls, suit, some stuff in here. I mean, this is, this is wild. Oh, wow. Close that. Let's go take a look at the kitchen. Now, when we walk to the kitchen, look at the flooring. It's like this, like, rock-type flooring. Oh, my Lord, the kitchen's actually quite large. This is a big kitchen. And the fridge is still running. I don't know if you can hear that humming, but it's still on. I'm kind of scared to open it. Oh, God. What? Oh, my Lord. Is there a lot of food? Pepsi, pizza, hold on, hold on. peanut butter, Lay's chips in your fridge? It doesn't smell. It's like Caesars. I can't smell it. Look at that cheese I sauce. See it. <laughs> it looks nasty. Yeah, God. let's close that up. Yeah. Uh, not even gonna look in there. Yeah, we already know the deal. We got the microwave. Not even a bad looking microwave, like semi new. I wanna say like 2000s sometime. But then look at the cabinets. We got a stained glass in the middle right here. And the stuff is still all in it. Let's see, let's open it up. Yeah, look at that. All still in there. And we got the blender, we got the coffee maker. We got more stuff in right here. We got this stove. And this kitchen is large. Little mini oven right here. By Tepon. I bet it still works and everything. I'm really surprised this place still has power. That could be why I don't really have the smell like a moldy smell. Because of that? Yeah, it's preserved. Because like the power's on and everything? Yeah. It's just like, it, just, it, like it doesn't dust. smell terrible in here, you know? It smells like dust. That's it. A little decay. Because it's so there's very little bad smells in here. I'm just afraid of opening these because I don't know what's in them. There's a lot of spiders out right now too. This whole trip we've just been running into spiders. Everywhere. Then we got a fireplace here in the kitchen. That's pretty neat. But look how large this is. This is quite the kitchen. I would say. High ceilings, everything. I mean, beautiful. Iron Man Dr. Pepper. I mean, this can't be from that one. Guys, fake fruits. Fake fruits. These are fake. Look, I'll even show you. Plastic. Look, sometimes I just get comments that are just strange, that blow my mind. Like, people will really think that if they see something like this, they'll think it's real. This is a glass corn on the cop. It's not real. <laughs> I know I'm just rambling on a little bit, but some people will say, they'll see all this decay and everything and say, well, why is the fruit fresh? Well, what? <laughs> a little bit crazy to me, but anyways, let's continue on with this explore. We're gonna leave the kitchen, we're gonna see what else is here. Um, there's like a sunroom back here that I'm going to show you and then we're going to go through the rest and head upstairs and see what's up there. But yeah, we're in the kitchen and it's quite large. 
So this is a very, very good house and I am really excited to film this one, so. All right, so leaving the kitchen, coming out here is like a uh, little storage room or something like that. I'm not really sure what this room's purpose is for. And then right through there is a sunroom and then right through here looks like maybe a laundry type room or something like that, utility room maybe. There's some stuff left in here, this big Spider-Man thing. I mean, all the cleaning supplies and even a ton of keys here. Like, look, this is a skeleton key. Maybe that's to the front door, who knows? That's pretty wild. Oh, and then it goes down to the basement. We'll check out the basement here in a little bit, but yeah, look at this room. It's like a little closet, some stuff. I'm still gonna take a peek down the basement real quick. Yeah, there's stuff down there. We're gonna check that out at the end though. But yeah, let's go check the sunroom real quick. And this is a very nice sunroom. Right to the back of the house, which would have been a sunroom. So you can see it just lets all this beautiful natural light in. You got a chair swing right here. Wow. <laughs> it's just, it's very nice, but you can also tell this was like a later edition of the home. It definitely was. I mean, look, that's like a, I want to say that's like a 70s or 80s type mm -hmm. thing. Yeah, 70s for sure. Yeah. And then, uh, I mean, the ceiling's falling in in here. I mean, this would have been a great hangout room right here. Oh, yeah. Looks like we're into tropical birds because you see. They're everywhere. Just, yeah. We got owls right here. We got a fake parrot right there. All these like little chiming things. I'm liking the furniture. I don't, this carpet's not very flattering, but this could be for like a grass type effect being a sunroom. My theory is maybe they got so old or way t into their old age that this was the only way they had to relax after a while. Maybe. Because maybe they weren't able to travel anymore because of their old age. Possibly. And this was their little piece of paradise right here. Possibly. But dude, how does this place have power? That's shocking. I don't know, maybe the family still pays a bill. Maybe they plan on doing something with it in the future. Maybe, who There's knows? a lot of variables. Who knows? This place is large though. It's very, very large. This is honestly one of the biggest southern homes I've done. Oh dude, a snake. Huh? A snake. Oh, shut up. <laughs> a snake. A snake. <laughs> Man, dude, I haven't seen one of these in forever. It's like, it rattles like a rattlesnake. I love this swinging chair. All right, we're entering this room right here, which is full of stuff. We've got magazines. Let's see what year maybe these are from. This is like a coupon. Three meat large, three meat treat large pizza. Does it say a date? Actually, I'm gonna say on the coupon back here. 2012. Well, I know what this is. This is a dancing. So this, if I'm not wrong, is the dancing Elvis uh, phone. You know, get your phone. Oh, dude, that's sick. And it doesn't work. But, you know, it moves around and stuff whenever you post that button. ACs and whatnot. That's so dope. It's pretty cool. I, I remember those, I think, earlier in the early 2000s or 90s. Really? Yeah. And it's sitting on top of a record player, too. It must have been just all this cool. And all, this is a whole record player, like the whole thing. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Speaker and all. Nice. That's really cool. So intact everything is, you know? So I'm going to say like 2012, 2013 was this place because that coupon's from 2012. At least so far, that's what I'm gathering. Nice picture of uh, the lady. Um, oh, look at this. This is a table. What oh, the heck? Ooh, that's a nice table. 
Like an elephant, that's so cool. Yeah, that's cool. I think these are worth a lot of money, right? I think they really liked some like uh, Asian theme. Yeah, yeah. Right there is Asian, that has some Asian stuff on it. So, yeah, I really think they were into it's Asian phenetic. stuff. Look at this weight room right here. What the heck? I mean, amazing furniture. You know, there's fur coats in here. It's sad that how would they leave all this behind? Fireplace. Just look at this ashtray. It's a coffee maker. What is this? Wow. It's insane. It's like a carriage. I just wonder where the owners went. So this is the bathroom. Oh yeah. Wow, dude. Everything's here. Look at the stained glass. Oh wow. I didn't even notice that. What the heck? That's, That's crazy. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh wow, dude. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> it's just right above the bathtub. That's cool. You know, it looks like uh it looks like it was hand sewed. It does. Oh wow. It's beautiful. Nice uh it's just yeah, claw foot tub. Yeah. All this stuff up there. KFC, Coca Cola, medicines. Yo, like, I mean, this is insane. This has to be like 2012, maybe 15 at the, the latest. I wonder what this does. It says light. That's it. Oh, oh there's the power. Light the bar. Wow. So, so some of it works in some rooms. Yeah, it does. Let's, uh, let's continue off this tour. Right to There's so much there. stuff in here. We got razors still here. We got... This is the master. Yes, it is. It's all scary. The energy feels strange in here. That's what I'm saying, dude. I, like I'm feeling weird. Like I'm I'm not a believer in ghosts, but like I feel heavy. You feel here, heavy, dude. very heavy. Like I don't know if something bad happened or what. It's like look at that, all her jewelry, right behind. I can't tell what kind of watch that is. That's a. This is a tag wire. These are expensive watches. It's a tag. Yeah. Wow, dude. Are you serious? Those are expensive. It is. It is a tag. That's probably what you're holding, dude. That's amazing. Dude, that's insane. What? You know? Is this a wallet? It is a wallet. Is there money? No. No, no money. Okay. Cars. That's crazy. That's a fine. Dude, this jewelry. How can they leave this? That it is, my guy. They have Belova foxes. Belova has a lower end, but it's still pretty expensive. This is just this is just from Walmart. Yeah. Actually, that doesn't happen. So there's just some earrings just chilling in here. Some dangle earrings. Find over here. Another watch, another cheaper Timex. Timex watch. Uh, bullets everywhere. It's nice. It's nice to find. Yeah. I don't want. It. Why am I even touching that? Keys, more bullets. Keys. Lock cylinder. Oh, this is a lock cylinder for an older vehicle. There's a car outside too. Is it? Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. Yeah, just. No miscellaneous. Bed's kind of riddled with stuff. Yeah. And then all of his clothes are here. 
his shotgun shells right here. I mean, there could be a gun in here. Ooh. Some more jewelry. Yeah. A lot more. <laughs> this could be real diamonds, too, because the way that they're sitting in here, you know? Old fancy hats. Wow, some boots. Check wow, those are actually cute boots. Their whole life left in here. Yeah, what's weird is the family, they seem happy, but why is it in the state of sin, you know? All their belongings. That's what I'm wondering. That's a, a very common place. Yeah, nice boots in here. We've got checks, we've got everything. They probably took their guns with them. These clothes don't look like 2000s clothes though. They look like 80s. I want to get another look at this bathroom real quick. I mean, the floor is amazing. You know, it's got this blue type tiles in here. I mean, it's quite large, pink walls. I've been really seeing this a lot lately. You know, a pink and blue color combination in a lot of bathrooms. And it's kind of, it's kind of cool. It's like a, almost like a bubble gum type thing to me. It's really nice. I like to see it. But uh, yeah, the sink, quite large porcelain sink, you know. Look in here, this is gonna be inside of the wall, which I can't really open that. Yeah, all their stuff is still in there. It makes you really wonder, where the heck did they go to leave everything like this? So we're actually at the front door. I don't wanna shine my light at the door, so I'll turn it off real quick and show you guys. It's quite large, quite a large front door with two windows on the sides. I mean, this is a grand house. A lot of pillars outside, everything like that. But this is what you see when you first walk in the home. It's this right here. Oh man, the light turns on too. Wow, it's just one light though. You got this beautiful chair. Cabinet full of books. This is a beautiful cabinet too. Look at this mirror though, man. That is ornate. Is it supposed to be curved like that? I think I don't so. Know. I was thinking about that. I think it's supposed to be curved like that. Probably. And then you got these marble. Like tables right here with more statues. Beautiful old furniture, like like look at this. It's like a bonsai tree almost back there. Yeah. What is this thing? Oh, is this a ship? It's a ship model. Mm -hmm. Look at that. It's insane. It's made out of just like a bunch of string. And then we got a beautiful green staircase, but I don't know if you guys can see this. It's like lopsided. It's curving. Or it's not curving, but it's kind of just leaning that way. But this is the main living room. And we got, you know, a couch covered in books and things like that. Some uh, some reclining chairs. Two matching lamps. There's a lamp right there and a lamp right there, and they both match. Again, the high ceilings, the uh, paintings on the walls. What is this? That actually kind of looks like the family. Yeah, it's, fun. it's like a little caricature of all of them, I think. Yeah, maybe that's the family. There's a... Uh, Cause that one looks, that one on the bottom looks like the girl in the pictures. Yeah, it does. I think that's the family. All drawn out. That's pretty cool. It is cool. And then this amazing looking tiger. 
And that's stitch, that's stitch too. That's, uh, yeah. Looks like it, huh? That's cool. And then you got the pocket doors right here. But let's go upstairs and let's see what's up there. Gotta be really careful walking on this. I don't like that the beads. Oh, yeah. That's beautiful. But what's weird is that's not outside light. So maybe they had uh, lights in the back of it. Maybe. It maybe. Still cool, nonetheless. Let's see how it's just. So immediately I'm seeing there's a pull table here. What? Yeah. What the heck? Everything's green up here though. Even the rooms are green. Carpet's green. Then we got this like mural on the wall here. Like the forest. Back through here, we have another bedroom. This floor is a little, uh, a little dodgy. Gotta be careful. Got a lot of chairs, things in here. Mattress is just chilling in the closet space, which is a little strange. Got some action figures. I think this is, I don't know who that is actually. Beautiful door handles. Look at that. This place is just so grand. Come in here. This room is like yellow. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> I'm turn my light for this a little bit. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> just a bunch of women in bikinis. Or, no, that's actually just lingerie I think okay so that's like ads for for like women's uh, clothing it looks like a boys room though there's a baseball here there's more women stuff up there actually that says Jordan Sparks Miley Cyrus okay. teenagers room definitely got a wow. baseball I didn't touch anything I didn't touch anything. It's haunted. <laughs> Something just fell back there. I don't know. Yeah, this is a full on apartment. Really? Yeah. Check it out. That's not bad. I don't know. In the bathroom? Oh, there's a kitchen up here. I don't know how much I'm trusting the floor, but there's a whole kitchen up here. Dang. I told you if a kid had this room that they were, uh, they were lucky. I could have their own kitchen. What the heck? Own fridge. I don't really trust this floor in here too much. It's really slanted in here too. It wouldn't be really comfortable or anything. Then we're gonna walk back through here and you see, again, it's just all green carpet going up the staircase up here. Then come over here. And we have a bedroom right here that has a bed left behind. The floor just feels like, it feels like it hasn't been walked on in so long. I'm not sure if anybody's really coming to check on this place. This floor up here, it doesn't feel like it's been walked on in quite a while. No, it's like saddle and it's like no. Yeah. I can't tell if that's artificial light or natural light. What's artificial light? Artificial light? You can see, but this room, guys, kind of empty, but I mean, it's green carpet, which is a little bit strange. Must have really like green. It's like a scene. I mean, they had a disability. Actually, did this make sense? Somebody had a disability in the family. I saw that too. Because downstairs there was a social security thing for disability. So maybe they had problems walking. Back there. It's just uh bathroom has seen its better days. Really? So pretty bit pretty beat up in there. Well, there's a bad man bracket. This is a closet. Empty closet though. Oh wow. 
So this probably would have been the maid's quarters back here. Oh, jeez. Wow, this bathroom got beat up. Man. We got a TV even set up here. Dude, this floor looks almost swept. I mean, it has like a little thin layer of dust on it, but, you know. There's another apartment situation. Another apartment situation? Oh, wow, another freaking kitchen. What the heck? And this staircase goes down to the sunroom, yeah. right here. Oh, look at this bathroom, dude. This is where the stained glass goes. So the stained glass actually goes to the bathroom here. This is a beautiful little bathroom. Nice green tub, green clawfoot tub. That's pretty sick. Look at the floors. The octagon tiles. Yeah, octagon tiles. Wow. This is a beautiful house. I really hope someone saves it. Me too. It's honestly worth saving. And then this is the staircase that goes down to the sunroom, guys. So that's where you know that staircase comes up here. Yeah. And that's pretty much the house. Well, we gotta go to the basement. All right, guys. Like I promised, we're gonna head down to the basement now. We're gonna see what is left down there. And we're gonna be as careful as possible. A bit scary. Oh, dude, this floor. Okay. Dude, I'm gonna get shocked in that crap. Oh, oh man, there's a lot down here. Oh, dude. Watch your footing. Watch your footing, my boy. You got to squeeze it through, my boy. That's wanting to move. Actually, that's collapsed down there. Is it? Yeah, the last two steps are collapsed. I don't think it's... There's a lot down there, but I don't know if it's worth that. Right, it's kind of just junked. Is it fine? No. <laughs> you take back your statement? Uh, what I see is... Oh, what the heck? I hate spiders. What I see, my boy... Uh, it looks like Christmas decorations. Um, Christmas stuff? Storage? A bunch of Christmas stuff, storage. Yeah. Uh, really wasn't worth my life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like that, you know. That's just if you ask me. Yep. So it's coming back up, hopefully if I die. Well, we kind of wanted to get out of there pretty quick. It was getting a little weird. Weird feeling, but this is the back of it. It's a very large house. Wait till you see the front, guys. But this is a car. Left back here, an old Toyota. Not old. How old do you think it is? What year do you think this is? Probably 2015. 2015? Yeah. Something it's, like that. It has a navigation screen and everything. Too. Really? It's a brand new car. Yeah. Oh, dude. This is not enough. <laughs> this is all just abandoned. Yeah. This is crazy, man. Look at all that. I think that's paint. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's paint. So these people were artists, too. Yeah, probably. Because you saw the paintbrushes and stuff inside? Yeah. And this uh, garage is full of junk. Besides the car, it looks like a nice car. Looks yeah, nice the car's really nice though. You used to have a basketball goal too, because it's it's laying over there. Yeah, this place is nice. As you can see, this place is so grand. It's got the pillars, but you can kind of see it's kind of leaning on that side but it's got the full wraparound porch it's got beautiful pillars it's got the red um i'm not sure what you call those but it's almost like how they do on spanish style houses with the with the ceilings and the roof and stuff but it's got two pillars right by the door i'm assuming it's probably painted blue up here this Looks pretty bad up here, honestly. 
but even the windows well, that's a door right there the window right there and they have locks on them kind of weird but look at the door like the door is just beautiful super nice entrance and the ceiling was painted sort of a blue color like a hint blue you know to hoard off the bad spirits it's what they do down here in the south guys another spectacular home spectacular mansion that we just explored and i am so happy to see this one it is absolutely beautiful and then not only that we have one right there and then one right there too so i mean this is this is crazy the sun is shining as you can see it's really bright look at that porch goes all the way around like that that's so awesome one day one day i might have a home like this one day so glad that we could take you on this adventure and maybe we'll go into these other ones now and see how they are all right guys so we're gonna get out of here we're gonna explore some more of these and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video with this amazing beautiful mansion behind me right here but yeah what a what a what an explore so much stuff in it everything left behind i mean and we're thinking 2015 but you guys know all the history's in the beginning so if you want to hear that go back to the beginning of the video and you'll be able to learn everything about the home but yeah we're gonna check out some more we're actually right in front of our next one right here so hope you guys enjoy if you did hit that subscribe button check out a band of dallas here and we're gonna get out of here until next time big mix out